Welcome to the next episode of Build Your Own R2D2 and I just want to say from the start this is the final video that you will see in this trial uh, period because this is the final trial issue um, and the reason I know this is because like I said in the last video on the back here there's no upcoming on issue 5 part so it is the end of the trial and just to confirm it inside the magazine you get this note um, stating that it is going to be um, suspended for the foreseeable future but issue five will be free of charge when it reconvenes and I really really hope it reconvenes because this is fantastic so um, I'm going to stick the um, website here go subscribe to that because the more people that subscribe to it the more people um, uh, the more chance there is of this thing being made so we are looking at one issue this time and I'm going to do something slightly different I'm going to try and do it all in one take and with one cut, okay? So let's see how I get on with this. If I'm more waffly than usual, this is why. So let's start by opening up the package contents of issue four. Get this out the way. And in issue four, we get a battery pack. And I just wanna say, once again, I think I've said this in every video so far, the amount of things we get for this trial version is outstanding. We got LEDs in the first issue. We got metal parts in the second and third. And now we've got a battery pack in a trial issue of, of a, a publication that might not even come to light. I mean, that's astounding. Um, speaking of metal parts, we also get this metal part here, which I'll show where that goes on in just a moment. And also we get this part here. So let's just bring in the leg, first of all of the last uh, issue and clear the deck a bit. So open up this metal part and very simply this metal part here, let's just look, oh no it isn't focused, no it's not, I could say more waffly, one shot, one take, um, yeah metal just like these parts were, um, very nicely detailed and you can see there's like a little hole there and a little hole there, uh, sorry peg there to correspond with this hole and this hole and it just plugs in like that, uh, like that, okay? So again, it's not exact, but that is what it looks like. Very, very nice addition, and um, this is the leg all but completed in this trial issue. We do get this part as well, four plugs here, match with these four holes here, and they just go on like that. So that is what you're left with on R2-D2's right leg at the end of the trial run, and what excites me most about this is not this, it's if it goes into full production, this part's going to be even better and it's already looking fantastic. I know that there's been some qualms about whether the blue is the right kind of blue. Um, that kind of thing doesn't bother me so much because, like I say, I think they'll sort it out for the for the proper release. And also, you're building an R2. All R2 uh, are different. All R2 models are different, I'd say. No one is um, going to be the same as the other. And I like the fact that it's a different kind of blue. Maybe they will change it, maybe they won't. Uh, you'll have to find out and see. But if you have got any qualms about the size and about the colour, I recommend that you let Diagostini know. Just to give you an idea, usually, especially with the Falcon, they did a trial run and then it took about eight months for the thing to go into full production. So we're looking at the start of next year as a guess. So you've got all that time to talk to Diagostini and um, contact them and then they've got all that time to kind of make adjustments and things like that. So that is what I recommend you do. So the next thing you get in issue four is the battery box here. And the reason I say one cut is because I don't want to bore people with, um, oh actually, yes, no, I have to have to unscrew it just like the Falcon one. Um, so I will have to unscrew that, put batteries in this and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, that was the cut and the camera change has, and the camera has changed slightly so that I can use my hands. Um, so yeah, battery pack um, is now, has now got batteries installed. Um, only three on this one, unlike the Falcons 4. Um, so there we go, there's that. So we've just bang, bring back the pieces that we got in issue one. We had this part in issue one. 
which was just, if you remember, just LEDs just screwed in there. Again, sorry about the focus. There we go. And I've gone ahead and I've attached it to the circuit board that we got in issue three, I believe it was. So I'm just going to take the circuit board out of the packet. Careful not to touch the actual face of the circuit board, top or back. Make sure you hold it at the sides, which is really hard to do when unscrewing wire. Uh, not wire. What's this plastic thing? Plastic protector thingy. Oh, man. One take, you guys. This is what you get. Okay, right. That's done. Okay, so the wire is attached via this pin here, just um, under the blue button. The one that says blue on it, as you can see, just there. Um, and then you get the battery pack. I'm just going to take this off properly. Come on. Right. Then you get the battery pack and you attach it to the one, the peg under the red, like so. Just pushes in like that. Turn the battery pack on. Now, hopefully this will work because I haven't tested it before. Um, I haven't actually explained the circuit board. Crikey, sorry. Right, to the circuit board, as you can see, one going to the uh, indicator, one going to the battery pack. And then you've got two buttons there, blue and red, uh, corresponding to the color that this thing will be. So I'm just want to set this up into the best way possible. Focus. Nope. There we go. Okay, so let's start by looking at the red. Oh, you can see it through the bleed more than the actual thing. Let me just turn the lights down. Oh, no, I can only do one cut. Bear with me just a second, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> right, okay, so let's look again at the red. Very, very nice. Like I say, you can see more through the bleed. The natural thing. Um, it's very bright. It's showing very bright on camera, just like the ramp was actually for the Falcon, but it is glowing um, very red. I'll have to take a picture of it and put it up now to show you. Okay, so that's the red. This is the blue. Oh, you can really see that blue. That's nice blue. Again, on camera, it doesn't really show what it's like because it looks more white. Um, so there's a picture of the blue as well. So you got the red and the blue and the red and the blue and mix them together, purple. Again, just white. It's like a lightsaber on camera because all you get is the white and then the color around it is the color of the actual thing. You can see on the reflection here of the purple. So there's the blue, there's the red, blue, red, purple. And I'll stick a picture of the purple up for you. And here is a picture of all three. So I guess there'll be some kind of remote control, which will mean that it changes between the two, like this, in a very, very nice way. It's a shame that the camera doesn't pick it up, but the photos will do, and you have seen it. So yes, so um, that is the end of the trial pieces. Um, I have glued this part in as well, uh, and this part on here, just so that I can have it as one big um, piece to show you. And not forgetting, of course, the camera eye. And this is the end of the trial run of the R2-D2. So please, please go up there, subscribe. Um, the more subscribers, the more chance that Diagostini has to make it. I'm pretty sure they will. They put a lot of effort into doing this trial. I don't think they would have done that if they weren't confident they were going to release it properly. But like I say, it won't be released for about another eight months. So 2017, after we've all seen Rogue One, after we've all gone, what about Rogue One? Or yay about Rogue One? Or ooh, there's a trailer for episode eight before Rogue One is when we'll start this R2-D2. Um, thank you very much for watching these trial videos and for your ongoing support. Some people out there have asked how they can actually um, support further. So I have actually set up a Patreon account. Uh, the logo is just there. Um, you don't have to do it by our no means go and do it at all. It's not like a, a, a prerequisite or anything. It's just people have said, how do I support? And that's a chance for them to support. So go and hit that if you want to. Um, that, oh, yes. And also, there's not going to be a Falcon video up this weekend, purely because my local news agents didn't get issue 62 in. And there's no point doing um, one issue. <laughs> he says, just finish one issue. There's no point doing one issue of a Falcon when it's just plating and... Um, metal framework to do so i'm going to wait till next week and hopefully maybe we'll have three issues in one and that will complete the um framework and hole plating for the top 
but we'll see. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Hit that Patreon account if you want to do that. If you like the channel, thank you so much. And I'll see you next week for more Falcon vids. And I'll see you in eight months for the first of the R2-D2 proper build. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.